you very much for such a beautiful uh, introduction of me. Uh, I hope you can hear. Can yes. everyone hear me? Okay. Yes, please. Okay, nice, very nice. So nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, this is a, a, my actually like a Zoom uh, conference is the first time. So I'm really sorry about the uh, technical difficulties. Well done, well done. thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> All set for everyone's support, that's beautiful. Um, so, um, she was talking about this Qigong. I, I make it very, very simple, yes. Um, any illness comes from energy blockages, yes. So this is number one thing to, to remember. So heart, emotionally, physically, uh, energetically, spiritually, anything where there's uh, energy blockages that would cause the illness. So um, for us to be keeping the energy flowing constantly, so this exercise will be a very, very, very good uh, uh, one of the methods. And um, when, when the energy is uh, flowing properly, and everything is in balance, you're starting to open up. Everything will open up, even the spiritual uh, spirituality. And uh, any, any event in life, everything is starting to align itself. Yes, I, I would really, really love to see everybody's face. And then I'm feeling a little bit of awkwardness like this, looking at myself and talking, but okay, forgive me. Uh, <laughs> uh, is there a way to see everyone's face just in the, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah? I'll remove the spotlight. One second. Uh, is everybody's video on? Please come on everyone. Okay, I'm going, you want, uh, can, can you see? Yes, it? I love to see everyone. Yeah, can, can you see everybody? Because all of the videos are on. Ah, okay. So that's it. I, I, I believe that. Um, hi, everyone. Let me just see everybody's faces one more time. Hi. Hello. Hi. That's so beautiful. Uh, very nice. Very nice. So uh, everyone is sitting or standing. What is your position, please? Would you like to be seated? Many of you are seated. Yes. Are you ready to move some? Uh, Make some movements. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Are you safe? So, okay. All right. So now I'm back on myself. So, it is kind of uh, difficult to communicate in this uh, little screen like this. So I am going to uh, start the practice. Are you ready, everyone? Okay. Should we stand yes, up? Please, yes. Before? Can everyone stand up? All right. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, let's go. I hope to see everyone in one screen if that is a possibility. I guess not. Okay, so I go each page. Okay, so that's right. Correct, correct. Okay, Jane, will you stand or you will be seated? You're standing? Oh, you're standing and holding the screen like that. Okay, that's not a problem. Let me see if everybody's standing. All right, all right. Okay, wonderful. So, here we go. So in the energy exercise, energy practice, the one that I'm doing, it is called Qigong, yes? And this Qi, is an energy prana, yeah? So this prana, where is it coming from? We, when we're born, we have a certain amount of life battery that comes with you and it is placed right here. Yes, this lower stomach area, yes. So this battery, you exercise, you call your friends, you cook, you, you, uh, you walk, you speak, anything you do, you are using this energy from this one, yeah? And when this is going, 
it is time to go because there's no more energy here. So instead of doing that, Qigong practice, it teaches us to access to the energy from the universe and from the earth. So this is where the miracle happens because it's no longer your effort only. You just surrender and open up and then all that beautiful two most powerful energies coming from the earth, coming from the universe, it comes and then merges in you, within you. And this is the energy that you use to sustain your life. So then what could it be? Yeah, this is why, this is why. <laughs> Illnesses, heartache, any problems in life, everything gets corrected. Why? When the two things is in balance. This is most beautiful thing. You can, you can look at the, let's say the marriage. Yes, this is the two duality happening in one union, man and woman. When they're in a good balance, everything must be going well, yes? When it's in a good balance, yes? So this is what we're technically talking about, male energy, female energy that lives in everyone. So to balance that, I'm here to help now. So remember that the, your lower body is connected to the earth energy, yes? And the upper body is connected to the universe energy. So this is where you are starting to use the Tai Chi psychic ability, which is visioning, dreaming, all that is an ability that we are born with. We never thought so, yes? Oh, dream, why are you daydreaming? Oh, stop it with the nonsense. This is how it used to be. But these are our abilities. Now the lower body is connected to the earth, which is we are the earth, especially women, yes? Now the earth energy, what does it do for us? It takes the energy, the bad, all the energy, no longer needed energy, bad energy, illness energy, all that will be taken down, sucked in, back into the earth, and she has ability to cleanse it, yeah? And then she will give it back to you. So these two ends come to meet anything in life. There's no impossible you come to know. Now, let's everyone stand straight, putting your feet together. I would like you to close your eyes and follow my saying, yes? Take a nice deep breath with the lower stomach. You want to understand how it works and you remember the newborn baby? Yes, newborn baby. It only breathes with the stomach, yes? And it's like a pump. So that I would like to see it on your lower tummy. Yes, breathing technique is the most important. Simple, but uh, very, very important. So you take all the air in the lower stomach first. Can we do this, everyone? See this, my tummy will pop up. Let's just do this exercise. Push your tummy out when you're breathing in. So before you breathe in, you have to release your uh, air, yes? Yeah? So then all, as much as you can, until you have no more air in your tummy. So let's, let's breathe out first together. One, two, three. You saw that puff up? So this is what I want to see. So everyone, please practice. I'm gonna check every one of you. Please turn to the side. 
Yes, and then put one hand on one tummy, I mean, on the tummy, and I want to see. Very nice. Okay, please keep on doing that. And if you can do it with a longer breath, that would be so much more beautiful and helpful. Beautiful. Yes. Everyone doing great job. Marie Adele, I can't see your stomach, but yes, I can see your cheeks. <laughs> All right. Belinda, nice, nice. Gita, you're doing a great job. Wonderful. Josephine, doing great. Gracie. Yes, that's it. Very, very nice. Eileen, very nice. Yes, that's beautiful. That's right. Yes, that's wonderful. Jane, Fatma, all right. Wonderful, everyone. So keep breathing that way. And now, let's turn to the screen, everyone, once again. Very nice. So we keep our hands on the side of your thigh. Yes. And now with this beautiful breath, use your consciousness, your mind, the focus. You just have to focus. Bring your focus down to the heels. Yes. So there, make a root like the tree root, let that root grow out from your heels. And just visualize that the root is going down underneath the earth. And just that, you are creating the energy that is really connecting your physical body and the energy from the earth. So great job, everyone. Now, focus moves to the lower belly. Yes? Like I have explained before, this is where the divine, the father, male energy, universe energy coming down to meet the earth energy. So here, this is why it's a very sacred space, yes? Now you're moving the focus up to your heart. Energy has to go through. So it needs to open. Yes? So energy is moving up. Your focus is moving up. Going up. Now I want everybody's attention on the tip of your tongue. Yes? This tongue, I want you to push it up and then touch the roof of your mouth. This is like a switch for the energy. It will properly now circulate. Yes. Now you move in the focus to the forehead. When the two energies within your body comes together to become one energy, and that will be the energy to be opening the so-called third eye. Yes. And moving on to the top of your head. Here, there's a ladder that connects to the center of the universe. Believe it, have fun, and live that childhood uh, innocent happiness and joy. It is okay. And this happy energy is for everyone. Yes? So all that exercise with your mind has to kick in before the practice. Yes? Now, everyone, put your hands out 
palms are looking towards the camera. Yes. Now these hands are the connectivity to the both ends of the energy. Yes. Right hand, the earth. Left hand is the universe. So let's go. We are moving our arms all the way up to 45 degrees. So everyone, right hand, do feel the energy of the earth and then you collect that energy with the right hand and you make a fist. Left hand remained open to connect to the universe energy. So we're bringing these hands together to come meet above your head. Very nice, everyone. Beautiful job. Now, acknowledge these oneness energy that with your hand that you created. You bring this energy to your lower stomach. So pull this slowly. Very nice. When this one reaches to your stomach, lower stomach, take a nice breath in. And we bow to the creator who provides us with these beautiful energies from the universe and the earth. And take a breath in and we come back up. And it's not over yet. You open your right hand and bring them back to your thighs. Very nice. Just with this opening of the practice, it could be a very fundamental yet deep, deep meditation you can create for in for our individual. Yes. Now let's try one more time. I would like to change the page so I can see others how they're doing. So here we go. Now I'm on the group of Gita, Barbara, Berlinda, and Maria Del. All right. Let's try this one more time. Now, hands are open like this. Take a breath in. Hands are going up. Right hand, you make a fist, collecting the female energy. Left hand, connected to the universe and then collecting male energy from all around. Bring these hands together above your head. And bring it down slowly, inhaling. Very nice, take a breath in and we give thanks to the creator. And we come up, breathing in and hands open up. Beautiful. As a female, we have water. So there's a movement that's a, such a beautiful movement that I'm seeing. Thank you, guys. I'm changing the uh, page to Gracie, Josephine, Eileen, and Sujata. Let's try. I'd love to see. Okay. Hands are opening to the energy of abundance. Bring your hands to 45 degrees. With the inhalation, right hand, make a fist, collecting the earth energy. Left hand, connecting to the universe energy. Bring them together, create the divine energy, divine oneness energy. Bring this down to your lower tummy. With the breath in, we bow to the energy source and beyond. With a breath in, you come up and bring your hands to the side. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. 
Now I'm in a group of Sylvia, hi, Raj, Sosa, and Lalita. Okay, so we've done enough of the uh, greetings and I hope you feel this vibration, yes? You are a part of this great universe and then the great mother earth. We are the device that connects those energies and conducts. So now I would like to get into the first movement of Qigong. This is to connect. So after the greeting, let's do the greeting one more time, everyone. Hands out. Yes. Take a breath in and bring your arms up to 45 degrees. Right hand, make a fist. Yin energy, earth energy. Left hand, universe energy. Come together. Create this oneness energy. Bring it to your lower stomach where the gut is. Yes. Take in that energy within, in your stomach with the breath in. And you say thank you to the creator. And you come up and open your hands, bring them back to your thighs. Now, ladies, I would like you to bend your knees, drop your weight. And we open the foot to the left. So lift and open. Yes. So this now, I have to go to the main page so then I can see myself. Okay. So knees are bent. You don't need to go here to be the hero today. <laughs> you can be just here, but please make sure that your knees are bent so then the energy can travel. Another beautiful thing to remember, we have veins, yes, for the blood. So we have meridians in our body that the energy travels just like the veins. So we need to unlock those ones, yes? So everywhere, the joint, elbow, wrist, everything has to be bent a little bit, okay? You don't need to strain yourself. And the pelvic bone is in. So then we have this natural curve, like the crescent moon. Can we create that? Yeah, can we create that? Very, very nice. Yes. So you are standing very comfortably. Yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I checked you, everyone. So first movement. You remember, we are the earth. We female are the earth. Now what the earth does, the earth energy, what does it do? It takes our sadness, pain, all that. She'll take all of it, remember. And she's going to be cleansing it. Yes, she'll be cleansing it, cleansing it. And then she'll give it back to you. Yes? So remember that. Now we're going to connect our energy with the, her energy, our mother earth, okay? So we're here. Hands are in front, yes? Very, very nice. We go down, yeah? And we go up, very simple. Breathe out. Come up, breathe in. We go down, breathe out. Hands come in front and go up. Breathe in, breathe out. Open, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, going up and breathe out, going down. Very, very nice, everyone. So let me tell you what we're doing. We're going down. Remember the belly breathing? Now you're pulling the earth energy. And you're opening your heart. You're connecting your heart. 
and you sending the message back to the earth again with your heart. And come up, inhale, go down, exhale. Again, you pull the earth energy to connect with your heart and push it back down. Exhale. Inhale, go up. Let's do one more time. Going down and pulling that energy, connecting your heart and send it back. Very, very nice. Please keep doing that, everyone. No cheating. I am going to check everyone. All right. Very nice. Yes, Belinda, let's go. Yes, go down. Breathe in, come up. And go down. Exhale. Very nice, everyone. Beautiful. Barbara, great job. Gita, amazing. When the hand's going up, you breathe in. When the hand is going down, you breathe out. It's natural. Way. That's it. Great job. Yes, Josephine. Gracie, Eileen, yes. Okay. Go down. Breathe out. Take. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come up. Very, very good. Very beautiful. Yes, Gracie, very nice. Sylvia, hi, Sylvia, Jane, Raj, Sosa. Yes, very good job. Go down, bring your hands in front, and you pull the earth energy. Connect with your heart and push it back down. And you clean. And again, you go back. Okay, let me see the last page. Lalita, great job. Very nice. So everyone keep doing that. All right. So that was the first movement of Qigong. Now we're gonna do the second movement. I am going to leave you with three movements today including the greeting, yes? So the second movement. Now, you take the energy the same way from the earth and you bring the energy to the level of your heart, yes? And your heart is open. So what to do? You share with everyone. So you open your arms so wide, yes? When you share and when you give, it's a nature law, you would receive. So the palms, yes, the palms are going to look up to the sky to receive the blessing of the universe. When you give the father energy, it will bless you with so much more. Now you bring your hands together in front of you. You gather that energy. Now, what to do? The psyche. You will put the intention. You would wish someone good. You do anything. Put that little bit of heart and an intention in this energy. Yes? And you will send it to the sky. There you go. Like you send in the balloon up to the sky. Yes. And the universe will receive it. And the energy is coming back. So then the hands are grasping that energy and bringing in slowly. Yes, let these hands scan your energy. Yes, it will tell you like, hi, I feel pain right here. Hi, I feel pain right here. These things, yes, it's painful, but it's just a signal that the body is calling out for, you see? And we are the divine device. 
that contains universe and earth energy. And this way you bring your hands down and caress your energy field because it is there. Clean all the way to your toes and then let it go. Yeah? So this is the second movement. Let's try this together again. Yes? Now, hands are here. We start from here. Now, release the air from your stomach first. Now going down. Breathe out. Clear your way. Inhale. And we go down. Exhale. You pull the energy of the earth and then connect your heart. And you share this with everyone that you care and with the world. Then the palms look up and then you will receive from the universe. And you gather your hands together and send this energy to the sky, to your spirit, higher spirit. Then the universal energy comes to touch your body. You take that you push all the old energies, energy that you don't want anymore, the energy that is heavy. You just move it, push it down, and then push it, push it, push it, and then give it to the earth and say thank you. Yeah? And you clear your passage. Again, breathe out. Pull the energy connecting your heart, inhale, and open your arms to share. You don't need to fear that you're going to lose it because it keeps coming, so you will never lose it, yes? Now, palms look up, and you will receive from the universe. You gather your hands together. Now. This is me right here in the earth, yes? And there's me above in the other side, on the other side. We don't see it, but we call it spirit. Higher spirit of you is doing the exercise right now with you. So you give this energy with your beautiful intention, send it to your higher spirit. And bring the energy back down to your physical you, yes? And use that energy and push down the old energy that you don't need anymore, bringing in the new energy and send that light to everywhere in your cells. Yes? Doable? I'm sure. And you clean. Beautiful. Let's go. Going down. Take in the energy of the earth, connect your heart, and open to share it. Now you share this, then you receive so much more. In your palms, here comes the universe energy, and you gather it in front of you. Put your heart in it, put your mind into it, send the beautiful intention to your higher spirit and bringing in that universe energy once again and hands are going down slowly below the hands you are pushing down the old energy above the hands you're pulling in the new energy and you push your hands down and clear it all the way. And when it's done, you let it go. Don't hold on to it. You come up one more time. Let's see everyone going down and pulling that energy up. Breathe in. Now open your arms, breathe out. Palms look up, breathe in. Gather your hands, breathe out. 
Breathe in, send that energy above. And bring your hands down, breathing out. Very well. Okay, now let's take a little break. If you need to take a little sip of water, you need to sit down a little bit, please do. And Jacinta, are you there? Yes, <laughs> fully energized. <laughs> <laughs> how, how is that? I'd like to hear everybody's voice. Can we uh, all, um, can sure. you all tell me how you're feeling? Yes. Can, do go ahead, unmute yourselves and uh, yeah. let's share our thoughts so far. Nice. Yes. <laughs> and some, some of the lightness. <laughs> Energized, very energized today. That's it. Yes, energizing. It will give you the nature. Do you agree that the nature knows the best? Yes, like the mommy, <laughs> like the mother. So nature will give you what you need when you do this exercise. It's that simple. Yeah. It's, are you feeling really feeling something? Yes, yes. And there's so much. Very light wisdom, and but, uh, yeah. Hmm, I have one uh, wisdom to share with you all. So, chi on how it works. The newborn baby, doesn't, he doesn't know that, okay, mommy's breast milk is the most nutritious thing on the earth. The baby doesn't know that, correct? But the baby drinks the milk. It, he's receiving everything that he needs, yes, from the breast milk. So this exercise is just like that, yeah? And how to describe this uh, energy that, I, that I'm showing you to cultivate? You're already feeling that, that's wonderful, yes? So this energy, think of this uh, a little seed, yeah? So you put the seed in, you pour water and the sunlight, what it becomes? It becomes a great giant tree. How did it become so? It's only the energy. So this is the same energy that I am sharing with you to learn how to cultivate, to help within your daily life. Yes? Anything you feel, oh, I'm a little sluggish, oh, I don't feel too good. You just need to do this for a little bit and then you're going to feel wonderful. Yes. Jacinta, how's the timing? Uh, we we have time till uh, another 15. Yeah. 15 uh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. So the whole point is to feel and then exercise together. So now everybody's done with the water break. I yeah. I have one so question. To... <laughs> yes, please. Can I ask you whether this has to be done in the open area? 
that is one thing and ah. whether you put a slipper on slipper without slippers if you doing in a slippery place you the slippers slipper, slipper. will be white if you want to feel the uh, earth why not you don't need no shoes yes That's and the uh, the piece wise Look at it this way: you are becoming like a little peacemaker device, energy cleanser device. So if you do it in the house, you'll be starting to cleanse the energy of the house also. Mm -hmm. Yes, people yeah. talk about Reiki. You know, the Reiki yeah. they, they do like a distance Reiki, sending the energy to the other person to heal. This Qigong, you are immediately doing that. When you're doing this very gentle exercise, think of someone that's important. You will be sending the energy just fine as the Reiki. Mother's prayers are very, very powerful. Do you agree? Yes. 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 So that is not a just a say. It's a real power and energy that connected with your heart connected with your mind and sending it out there. So this one, Qigong, it's just to show you how to cultivate that energy more. So then the heart and mind should be open and thinking anything you want to flourish in your life, it will be so, right? Now, before the ending, let's do a, a opening of the uh practice and the first movement second movement and we will close it with the a uh, proper uh, greeting again but before i'd like to show you one more movement which is very very easy are you ready everyone okay so this posture is called tree do you know what tree represents in this heart realm? <laughs> tree represents spirit. So we are, yes, in the tree. It is the energy that lives inside and grows to become a giant tree. So we are, yes. Now, bend your knees. Open to make yourself very, very comfortable. Pelvic bone, it's curved in. So then you have the crescent moon in front of you. Yes. Now take a deep breath in and bring your arms up. And bring it in front of you to round it up. Yes. The palms are looking towards your heart. Yes, make sure the wrist, elbow, they were bent a little bit. Shoulder, relaxed. Yes, and let's do some belly breathing. Okay, this, you can go back to the state of being a newborn. Think of nothing but to take in the air as you're sucking on the mother's breast milk. Let's do that, yes? All right. Breathe in. Breathe out. The belly is going flat, 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 flat. And you release all the air from your tummy. And you take in with the frag full grace. And the breath will roll up all the way to the top of your head. And you release. Again, you take a pause and then take the beautiful air in your tummy. And roll up that breath all the way up to the top of your head. If you can pause it, let it pause. Set the intention to heal or cleanse anything you want. And you release your breath longer than the inhalation. 
When the stomach goes flat, again, let's take a breath in. Roll that breath up all the way to the top of your head. Stop for a bit and release. When you release in the breath, do it as long as possible and hold it. So then the body will take in the breath with so much appreciation and gratitude. Now, I'm sure some of you, arms are tired, legs are shaking, and uh, maybe mind is getting distracted a little bit. Each time you just, again, go back to your breath. Focus on your breath. Think nothing like a newborn baby. Yes? The energy shakes your body sometimes when it kicks in. So don't worry about hands are shaking, arms shaking. It's just natural. Okay, let's bring our arms down slowly, never too fast, slowly, like a feather. Very nice, everyone. So let's continue with the movements we learned today. Qigong, first movement, hands are out, palms are looking down. We go down, breathe out, hands open, breathing, come up, go down, exhale, hands coming in front, inhale, pause, and exhale, go down, hands are opening, clear the energy. Come up, inhale, go down, exhale, pull the energy up, inhale, exhale, and opening, inhale, and going down, exhale, very nice. Now the second movement, inhale, open your heart and then connect your heart. And you share that, give it all away, all, all, all. Now you're empty, so here we go. Palms look up, universe will bless you with so much more. You receive the energy. Gather your hands together. And we set the intention, wish well for everyone. And you send it to your higher spirit. And welcome the universe energy to reach to this physical realm. You push out the old energy that you don't need anymore and bringing in the new energy to fill up your entire cells. Hands going down to clean all your energy, all the way to your toes, and you let go. Come up, inhale, go down, exhale. Mm, empty your stomach, pull the energy up, connect your heart, whatever state it is, and share it with everyone. And the palms look up to the sky and an open and receive. And gather your hands together. And set the intention. And send it up to your higher spirit. Welcome that energy to reach to your physical realm. Push the old energy that you don't need back to the earth to get it cleansed and welcoming the beautiful light and energy into your cells everywhere. Now, clean it up one more time. Let's go one last movement. 
Hold the energy of breathing. Connect your heart and share with the world. And palms look up, receive from the universe. Gather the energy in front of you. Set the beautiful intention and send it to your higher spirit. Bring your universe energy down. Whatever intention that you have set, it is falling in to all your cells like a drop of light. And you're pushing down the old energy that you don't need anymore. Palms are so hot and then heating up. And push the energy down to the earth. And you let go. Release yourself from that energy. Now, we're bringing the left leg back to the right. Now, this effect is not only when you do exercise. If you keep up your exercise, it will sustain longer time and longer time and you will be always living this feeling good state yes now open your hands you slowly bring your hands up to 45 degree inhale and the right hand close to make a fist and bring your hands together above your head. And bring it down. And take that oneness energy in your lower stomach. Let's inhale. And we bow to the great energy of the creator. Breath in and we come up. Open your hands gently and bring them back to your thighs. Give yourself a tap. Great job, everyone. Yes. So let me see, everyone, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? You're feeling great. I smile. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And, uh, amazing. Hi, Josephine Gracie. Wow. Yes. Nice. Feeling great. Yes. Eileen, Jada, Sosa. Yes. Very nice. You enjoyed it? Yes. yes. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, very much. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Rafa. Hi. Yes, Jean, it's a good thing, yes? Yes, it talks to me. So beautiful. All right, yes, thank you for the thumbs up. Nice, nice to see you. Yes, Vatima, Vita. You had a great one, yes? How does anyone yes. see any difference or any uh, something that you didn't expect? Any of you would like to uh, share something so difficult? I don't know why I'm sweating though, uh, Tiko. No, but I feel like I'm all negative energy has gone out. That's, That's it. Give me high five. Give me high five. The negative is out and the positive is in. The water is in a female being which is a yes? So she is on that HGV, connects to the nature element to describe things or describe our energy, energy quality. So now we are the female, earth, and the water. And the water, it's easy. We as a divine female, we just call it to do things for us. For the water, please cleanse me. Yes? Yes. So then the tears the sweat, saliva, everything that is fluid in us, it is, it has a property to cleanse. Yeah? 
So yeah. these movements that we practice today, you can be like the water and do that flowy movement and just think of a cleansing, think of anything that you need right now. Yeah? Lovely thought. Okay, mm. Jessica. Yes, Tiko. So a uh, yes. uh, couple of questions, if it's okay, maybe just to round it off. Oh. Okay. Yes. Spotlight. If anybody else has a question, do let me know. Or, but I thought I had certain. Um, yeah. So I wanted to. Uh, so yeah. are, are, is Qigong, like you said, a lot of about female yeah. earth energy. Yeah. Is, is it different set for male as well, or is it the same? Thing? Is it common? Yeah. It is the same thing. It is the same thing as a state, as a, a one human entity. Everyone has that dual energy within us, right? And then fem because we're female physically, so we are more uh, tend to tap into the female energy more and act like one too. But sometimes you shock yourself that, oh my gosh, that was a brave of me, you know, it was uh, very kingly of me. So these are like the elements of uh, male energy that is kicking in within you. And then these things are just there. It is what it is, yes? It's, there's no comparison, there's no this or that, but it is just what it is. Dual energy is within us. So to balance that, and there's a lot of beautiful things happen within our uh, body, outdoor body, in our experience, in our life. Yeah. So I hope I answered the question. Yes, yes, absolutely. And uh, how is Qigong different from Tai Chi? You know, this common question I try to get on the internet, but you know, I thought maybe it'll come from somebody who practices it from you. So, what is Qi, right? Yeah, Qigong and Tai Chi, yeah. the same, different. Okay, so Qigong, right. So Qigong is to uh, cultivate that, that prana, cultivate prana. That is the uh, main um, uh, usage for it. More meditative, more breathe exercise. So uh, uh, Comparing to Tai Chi, Tai Chi is more physical, more mental. Everything has to be aligned. So it's a little bit uh, a higher skill, but it gives the same effect. Tai Chi, they use the cultivated energy to use the meridian flow with the movement. So it's a little bit uh, um, uh, high, 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 tech, high technical thing. <laughs> and the final question. Um... So you, you taught us three, uh, sort of three, what do you call that? Is it three um, uh, flow? What, what, what is Exercises. Okay. The so first one is two. Are there too many or there's lots okay. to know? So in this uh, Qigong, it's called, this is called medical Qigong. So each one corresponds with the parts of the body. So when you finish the 18 of them, you have gone to the doctor, did the checkup, you received everything you need, and you're in the best condition that you can be. So there are actually 18 of them. So we did two movements, but it's important to get into the movement also. So I didn't go further today, but if the group wants it more, we can continue. Thank you so much, uh, Tiko. I think this is really, uh, I love the way you took everybody's names and, you know, picked on them and in the sense of, you know, to really, I, I think maybe I'd like to, uh, final words from anybody, any experience? And no, I have a, yeah, I have a question uh, for, for you, uh, Tiko. Uh, yes. You know, on YouTube, there are some exercises given of Kidong where you know yes. a man is sitting down with his legs spread yes. out he said he can even do it on a chair but there were certain points oh. which he which he said that correspond to your stomach you know just mm -hmm. below your knee 16 stomach or intestine or something like that are those also things that we can follow without your <laughs> kind of instruction 
Of course, of course. Okay. So what I um uh, the metaphor that I've used, you know, when you do a certain position, and all you have to do is to actually detach, okay. and the mind can come later. So when you do in the proper posture as uh, as a human being what it's what we are supposed to how we supposed to stand as the divine being okay. so yes the uh hold on a second i lost that that's a part of what i was saying um yes you can do it sitting down and also you were asking uh all those uh, Sorry, corresponding can... corresponding yes. Uh, yeah spots or muscles to the yes to the body yes, definitely you can first practice to feel it okay yeah. and all these knowledge will come after but i mean uh, to, to bring in the energy that nature is taking care of nature is the doctor when you open the gate for the energy to come in to do the work for you alignment alignment means that your energy energetic sphere has no uh, space for anything wrong that okay. is what you can create with this practice okay yeah? and yes as you said you bring in the good and get rid of the what you don't right. need yeah. okay. that's right yes okay Chico, any last Thank advice? You. Is there a specific uh, time? To my pleasure. Sorry. Uh, is there any specific sunrise. time? Uh, Chico, any specific sunrise time? time? Yeah. Sunrise time is the uh, the be most beautiful, like life giving energy. Okay. So then the sunrise time, if you're early riser, you just need to, there's a, there's enough things said about the sun, right? Like yeah. if you can do the sunbathing and then how much energy you would receive. Those things are not light. Correct. As the, as the living thing in our eyes, it's growing with the blessing of the sun. So it, of course, we yes. receive it. We are just more receptive and opening that portal to receive its full potential, right? So that's what we're practicing. All right. Thank you so yeah, much. This, I, I think we've learned a lot. In, uh, exercises with tone is uh, somewhat similar, uh, almost like the yoga exercises which we practice, that breathing exercise yes. and that uh, energy thing is, uh, is sort of similar to the yoga exercises we practice. So mm. all these hands connect, I feel. Yes, all Some sort yes, of different application. Yeah, different different application, but the qigong is designated to be working with the energy. Yoga, probably the flexible uh, flexibility comes in before, or uh, uh, posture, uh, importance of the posture might come before. Qigong is the energy exercise. So we this is designed for the energy workout. So it's a little bit different from yoga, but yes, the, principle, the same principle with the breathing and everything. Yes. Thank you so much. I think we can give a round of applause for Chico. Yes, thank you. You are all amazing. Thank you. And hope to come across sometimes. All the best in your endeavor. All around the world. Thank you for being here. All of us, good night. God bless. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.